Welcome back to you guys, the Now Morning Show, where Natalie is bubbling with excitement as she gets ready to join her next guest discussing the Upper House and Lower House coming together to discuss the motion to remove the President. Natalie is going to be in the spotlight with Dr. Winford James, political analyst, analysis, analyst rather, <laughs> while we get ready to see what's going down tomorrow. It's 18 minutes after the hour of 6 o'clock. 18 minutes if you missed the first part. Thank you so much for rejoining us here on the No Morning Show. And Anka is right. I do get kind of excited about these kind of discussions, ex especially my next guest, uh, Dr. Winford James, political analyst. We always have a very good discussion, so I'm excited about that. Good morning to you, Dr. James. Good morning, Natalie, and good morning to your crew. Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, thank you so much for joining us from the beautiful sister isle of tobago how are things over there these days with all this covid and vaccine hesitancy and delta variant how are things overall but um generally speaking it's very good yeah we are managing as we have always managed things could always be better but i want to correct you i'm not in tobago i'm in trinidad dr james i'm in trinidad Dr. James, this is where you I and I are going Trinidad, to I am in Trinidad, not in Tobago. This is where you and I are going to fall out. So you in Trinidad, are you on Zoom? Uh-huh. Dr. James. Are Sorry? How, how are you in Trinidad and you're on Zoom? Uh, there's a cross in the <laughs> line or something. <laughs> Dr. James. Yeah, the, 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 the picture is jumping. Oh, it is? All right. Um, uh, uh, let's hope they sort yeah. that out. Okay. He says it's not. It's not from our side. Uh, we don't have any control over that. Uh, okay. So let, let's hope it gets resolved. Maybe you weren't supposed to hear that question that I was asking you. How comes you in Trinidad and you're on Zoom with us this morning? <laughs> yes. That's what I was trying yeah. to figure out. But anyways, <laughs> let us get into the discussion. So the upper and lower house are meeting to 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 throw their arguments out to see if. The opposition can get the 48 votes that it needs uh, to uh, get the president investigated and possibly removed. What do you make of the fact that, yeah. I mean, I don't think I need to go over the details with you about what happened with the police service commission, a merit list being taken to president's house, that list being taken back, the opposition saying that, you know, the president should have forwarded it to, to the parliament and that she doesn't have the remit to determine you know, who becomes commissioner of police are not all of these things. But what do you make of the fact that the, opposi the opposition brought this uh, motion to the parliament? Well, first of all, the opposition can do so. The opposition has uh, serious doubts about the process that was undertaken in order to get us to the point where we have a new uh, commissioner of police. And not all has been well in regard to the process. Uh, so the, we, we are going to jump over certain understandings that are already in the public domain. Yeah. That is to say, people know that all has not run smoothly. So, but the opposition has come to the point where they will be in the parliament on Thursday to uh, prosecute their motion that the president should be re re uh, removed, and they are going to tell us more, I imagine, as to why. Whether they are going to prevail, however, it's a different question. Um, the, if, you, if you need only a simple majority um, to overcome a motion like that, then the, the motion by the UNC will fail. But fail in the sense that it will not, um, they, will, they won't get their way. But the UNC may be thinking that they need to raise issues that arise for the public to see. Their, their, their aim may be to discredit the government on the way this matter has been handled. And that's the, the politics of it. Um, the question of whether they, who is right and so on will not be resolved by parliament. Parliamentary voting does not make people right. What it does is to make those with the majority of votes have their way. So we are going to see um, 
how the, the kinds of arguments that are presented by the UNC, and of course thereafter, how the public um, reacts to those arguments presented by the UNC. Do they have details that we don't have? Dr. Yes. James. It, so it's, it's a political matter at this stage. It's interesting that you said that you believe that this is going to be the UNC's way of discrediting the government's handling of the issue. I thought that the Police Service Commission was an independent body. How does the government get into the conversation that it could even be considered to be, dis you know, to be in a position where it's discredited with the, the handling of the issue? Yeah. What do you see, Natalie, to the extent that the matter has to be taken to Parliament, and Justice Kangaroo did rule that um, um, there was a violation of the Constitution, Section 123, I think it was, um, by the process to um, create the position of acting commissioner of police, right, to appoint Mr. Griffith to the position of acting commissioner. And the judge ruled that there was something wrong with the legal notice and that uh, Mr. Griffith was wrongly appointed by the, the police commission, service commission, to the office, and that his appointment um, from the 18th was null and void. Now, to the extent that matters have to be taken to parliament, the government comes in, one, one remembers uh, three years ago, when Mr. Griffith was made the uh, commissioner, that there were, I think, five people on the short list, and Mr. Griffith's name was number five, and the government went to each of the five, well, let's each of the four before they came to Griffith, and um, struck them off the list and ended up um, endorsing Griffith, who was number five. So the government has a role to play. Now the opposition, of course, does not present candidates for the opposition, for the, uh, the commission, uh, for the police. You know, they don't, they don't, they don't do that. What they do is to respond, to react, right? So the government had their way because when you heard the prime minister speak at that point in time, he endorsed Griffith very, very resoundingly. So that the policy, the government comes in by way of the parliament having to do the uh, confirmation, sort of. And when, of course, that is done, then the, as a matter of formality, the uh, Police Service Commission then uh, points Mr. Griffith to the position. That's, that's how it works. Right, but the Police Service Commission also has a remit to, pr to present a merit list, as we heard, not for the first time, not for the second time. And even when it comes on to the legal notices, even before this one, a section four drafted yes. by this AG, is that there was one from 2009. Mm. And both of them, section four of this one, of, of this legal notice and, and 2009, were both struck down by Justice Kangaloo. And I personally can understand yes. why the president raised it. If there's ambiguity about the process, about whether or not it needed to go to parliament, yes or no, then you can understand why it was struck out. But let us get to it. So we, we are past the fact, the, the, the stage where, the commission, where Griffith was commissioner of police. We are at the point now where we need to reappoint somebody. How does the president bring her office into disrepute and ridicule outside of what the opposition is on record saying about the president? That's what I've been trying to, I've been battling the with that all these weeks. If I understand the question, um, the president, while she must be aware of people's reactions to her actions, does not have to be bothered by the office uh, descending into uh, ridicule and, and hatred and so on. Once she has a basis for prosecuting her function under the Constitution, what she has told us is that um, with Justice um, Justice Kangaloo. Kangaloo striking down, Justice striking down the notice and rendering uh, the appointment of Mr. Griffith 
null and void, she has to be presented with a new list. And that new list can only come from an appointed, a newly appointed commission of police. Uh, a police, sorry. Uh, police a service newly commission. Appointed mm -hmm. service, police service commission. We don't have that in place uh, yet after the uh, dissolution of, <laughs> of the previous one. The fact that uh, all the members, of course, uh, resigned. So we are not. We don't have a, a police service commission that can come up with the the new list. It has to be done over. Now, are they going to take the old list that was there? The new people are they going to? I don't know. That we will have to see how that works out. But yeah. there has to be a new list generated, and 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 the new police service commission has to be careful. It does not contaminate the process. We still don't know uh, why on the on August 11th, the chair of the commission went to the house, the uh, president's house, the president's office, I should say, OTP, um, to hand over that short list and did hand over, according to the president, did hand over the list, but came back and we drew it yeah. with the president's um, um, knowledge and apparently agreement. So we don't, the president does not have a basis for issuing a notification to the parliament. Right. So the president. Uh, Ms. Dr. James, I don't know if you're hearing me, but you're freezing a bit. So it means that you're coming over and distorted. On all right so dr james uh, it's obvious that you're not hearing me if you're hearing me now uh you're coming over distorted because there is a, some uh disruption in your connectivity at this time these days but i have the proper i have the proper devices trust me now all right, uh, Dr. James, we're going to take a break and see if we can come back to you, probably on the telephone, because we're not hearing you at this time. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 